Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Sampling Distribution Simulator. The link to this simulator can be found in the video description below or in your pre-lab assignment. To begin, click on the link and it will take you to this home page. This page has some helpful instructions which you may want to reference after watching this video while you complete your pre-lab assignment. To move to the applet itself, click on the Begin button located on the top left-hand side of the page. The applet shows you four graphs. The top histogram is the parent population, the population that you will be taking your samples from. Right now I will be using the default option of normal distribution, but if you look at the drop-down menu, there are many other options to use, and during your assignment you will be ex asked to explore these other distributions. We are going to be taking samples, in this case, using the default sample size of size 5. But in the drop-down menu, there are, is the option to choose samples of size 2 through 25. We will also leave the mean as the default measure of interest, but again, in the drop-down menu, you can choose to explore other measures such as median and standard deviation. The second graph will show you the individual values that we sample. The third graph will show you the resulting sample mean or x-bar value being plotted. So the third graph will show us the distribution of the x-bar values. Let's take a sample of size 5 from this normally distributed parent population with a mean of 16 and a standard deviation of 5. To do this, we will click on the animated button. Here we go. We see the five observations being randomly sampled and then our resulting sample mean is plotted in a third graph. Let's do it again. We got a second sample mean from this new sample of size 5. Notice that this sample mean is not equal to the first sample mean and that neither of these is equal exactly to the original population mean. But if we continue to take a few samples of size 5, we will start to see variation in our sample mean. The values do vary from sample to sample. To get a better idea of what this resulting distribution is going to look like for our sample, let's do this a lot of times. First by clicking on 5 a couple of times, and then clicking on the 10,000 button. This will take 10,000 samples of size 5 from the original distribution and plot each of their resulting sample mean values. Another 10,000 samples, we can click a couple more times. Now what are we seeing for results? So with many repetitions, the model for our sample mean looks approximately normal, bell-shaped, right around the original mean value of 16, with a standard deviation less than the original standard deviation, divided by about a factor of 1 over the square root of n. We can also click this clear lower 3 and start over. This time, let's take samples of size 25, Again, using the same original normal population centered at 16 with a, media, with a standard deviation of 5. And we can click animated and watch as our sample of size 25 is randomly sampled from the normal distribution and it calculates its resulting sample mean. This will take a little bit longer for larger samples to generate animated samples. Let's do one more. And then we will look at doing many at the same time. So we are taking samples of size 25 each time, calculating the sample mean and plotting its value in the third histogram. We can see the resulting distribution for our sample mean values appears to be approximately normal, bell-shaped again, around the true mean of 16, but now with a standard deviation of only 1. The original standard deviation was 5. The sample size we used was 25, and so we cut the original standard deviation down by a factor of 1 over the square root of 25. Remember that averages vary less than the individual values in our original population. For your assignment, you will be exploring the simulation and trying some other original distributions to use as your parent distribution. 
You can also investigate some of the other distribute other sample lean distributions for other sample statistics, but for this assignment, we will first focus on the sample mean. Enjoy your pre-lab.